with the weather being as it has been, it's a wonder that we've even managed to get the video done for this. The, uh, the first version that we've got, it is very heavily coming down with hail. So uh, it's, it's, it's great that there's uh, sunny skies. This is Kill Owen. She is a 59 foot 4 inch semi trad built in 2002 by Stenson Boat Builders and fitted out by Stephen Goldsborough. You might actually be able to hear the hail again now, it's, it, it's really coming down. She's fitted out internally with oak face ply with Sapili trim, oak tongue and groove with Sapili trim to the ceiling, and solid oak flooring throughout. She had a full repaint in 2016 and the roof and stern deck have been repainted again last month so she's, she's excellently presented on the outside. Got the roof box there for a little bit of additional storage. She was last blacked in 2018 with six new anodes on at the same time and there was a survey conducted in 2017 which is available for viewing in the office. The well deck here is four feet there's lockers either side, glazed cratch board, the anchor there as well. Even inside these lockers is excellently well presented. No obvious signs of rust. These just lift up. You could get some cushions made for this as well to make it a bit more comfy if you wanted to as the lockers do double up as seats. Forward doors are stable doors, top parts are glazed. And then we're into the saloon. Saloon is 12 foot 6 inches. There's plenty of storage in here. Head height is 6 foot 4. Got these two wooden armchairs. Got a cupboard here. There is a, uh, a clothes rail so you could use that as an extra wardrobe if you wanted to. Shelves over here. It's a car stereo that plugs into that, that face panel, the cupboard underneath. Some more shelves. There's a sharp 24 inch TV DVD with a sound bar. It's a more so solid fuel stove. That cupboard there gives you access to the, the corner part of the galley that's difficult to use. And then you've got another view into the saloon. All the radiators on throughout the boat, other than the one in the bathroom, is are covered, as you can see. The galley here is 7 foot 8, granite worktop. Got the vanette four burner gas hob. There's a drawer under there and a little cupboard. It's worth mentioning while I remember as well, the, there's secondary glazing on all of the forward windows um, so to help keep the heat in. Cupboard above the oven, it's a vanette oven and grill. And another cupboard below. Plenty of storage in the galley. Some shelves there. Got the Hoover washing machine, stainless steel sink, there's a water filter on that water tap as well, large cupboard underneath. And then in here you've got the Shoreline 12 volt fridge with an ice box. It's a Daewoo microwave and a cupboard above that. And then next you've got this midship cabin. In here you've got two singles. They are six foot by four foot each. It's a demountable table that sits in the middle so you can turn it into a bit of a dinette area. The two singles do also come together. They can be converted to make a spare double. It's got drawers underneath either side. It's also a, a cupboard above the head end of each of the uh, each of the single beds and at this end as well you've got another wardrobe and you've got the Aldi gas boiler that's the central heating system that heats all the radiators that's your wardrobe the legs for the dinette table the uh, demountable table are in there it's 
sort of comes together. It's also a Houdini hatch which opens above that to allow in lots of extra light and fresh air. We've got the corridor through to the off corridor bathroom. The bathroom is five foot six inches. There is a Tecma macerated pump out toilet with a holding tank of approximately 450 litres. Got the basin with the cupboard beneath that. And then behind the door, so you've got a couple of cupboards here which are next to the shower which is behind the door. It's a square tray with tiled surround. Finally, at the aft of the boat, you have the nine foot, 10 inch long bedroom. That is a six foot one by four foot one fixed bed. Does have pull outs underneath, so you could extend it um, if you wanted to get a different mattress. Got the cupboard above here. Little spotlight, little reading light. Couple of drawers beneath. And this is the pull out, so this side of the bed just pulls out to uh, give you an extension if needed. Here you've got a little cupboard, it's a sideboard on top of that. Underneath the steps you've got the 3.5 kilowatt travel power generator, and that's the 1600 Victron inverter charger few little cubby holes and the other wardrobe out onto the semi trad stern deck under here is the nanny 4.195 four cylinder 38 horsepower engine it's nice and clean in here it's been well maintained the bank of three 110 amp hour domestics and one starter are housed in here as well. I forgot to mention she has a bow thruster as well. There is a dedicated 110 amp hour battery for that in the uh, in the forward end of the boat. It's the view from the helm. Plenty of storage and entertaining space out here for cruising along. The pram and cratch covers were new in 2018 as well. She comes with all of the necessary navigation equipment, ropes, fenders, the anchor, windlasses, mooring pins, that sort of thing. The water tank is housed below the well deck. That's stainless steel with approximately 590 litre capacity. She's got a two, approximately 200 litre fuel tank capacity as well. And she is spray foam insulated. She's been excellently prepared for for sale and um, extremely well presented for further photos fully downloadable color brochure and spec please visit our website at www.rugbyboats.co.uk